Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So I have been seeing whipped cottage cheese all over my social media lately and I must say it is super delicious. I've been trying it for the past probably month or so and it's a very easy way to sneak in some extra protein throughout the day. Now the best part about it in my opinion is that it's so versatile and there's so many different ways that you can eat it which allows you to get really creative with different high protein snack recipes. So first I'm going to show you how to make just the basic whipped cottage cheese. It's super simple and of course you can eat it plain like this with carrots, cucumber, bell pepper, crackers, whatever floats your boat but if you want to fancy it up a little bit. I'm also going to show you six different ways that you can use this whipped cottage cheese to make a variety of high protein snack recipes that you will not get bored with. Trust me, they are all super delicious. And best of all, they only take a few minutes to whip up. And as always, you can print off all of today's recipes over on the blog post. I'm going to have the macros listed over there as well. You can find that link in the description box below. But anyway, let's head to the kitchen and get started. To make the basic whipped cottage cheese, you can use any percentage. Here I have the low fat 2% cottage cheese, but you can also use the 4%. Both are absolutely delicious. And it's really as simple as adding it to a food processor or blender. I'm adding two cups worth and just blending it until it's extra smooth. And by the way, you can also add unflavored protein powder to this if you wanna boost the protein content even more. But you should end up with a very thick and creamy consistency just like this. I like to to store it in a glass container with an airtight lid and just scoop out a portion of it whenever I'm ready to consume it. It'll stay fresh in the fridge for up to five to seven days. But that's it. That's how simple it is to make basic whipped cottage cheese. Now I'm going to show you a few ways that you can use it to make some high protein snack recipes that are both sweet and savory. My absolute favorite thing to make with whipped cottage cheese is this strawberry lemon cheesecake parfait. And when I tell y'all you will be making this on repeat. It is that good. My husband literally asked me to make him this every single week. To start, I'm going to make a simple homemade strawberry jam. In a saucepan over medium heat, I'm adding one cup of frozen strawberries that I've already defrosted, and I'm just breaking those up into small chunks as it heats through. Then add in one tablespoon of maple syrup and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Continue to let that simmer for a few more minutes. Once it's done, you'll want to transfer it to a glass jar and and let it cool in the fridge while we prep the cheesecake mixture. Into a bowl, add one cup of the whipped cottage cheese, one to two tablespoons of your favorite sweetener. I'm adding monk fruit today, but any sweetener works just fine. The zest from one lemon, as well as the juice from that same lemon. And if you don't want it to be too lemony, you can add the juice from just half of that lemon. Give it a good mix until it's fully combined. And now we can assemble the parfait. This recipe makes two servings, so I'm gonna use half of the ingredients for one parfait. And just layer it however you'd like. I'm gonna start with the cheesecake mixture on the bottom, followed by a layer of the strawberry jam, a little bit more cheesecake, and then I'm gonna add a crumbled up grain-free shortbread cookie. I like the ones from the Siete brand and just continue to add those layers and then top it off with one more crumbled up cookie. But this entire parfait is only 220 calories with 13 grams of protein. Of course, you can find the full macro count for all of today's recipes over on the blog post, but how good does this look? Next, let's switch it up with something more savory, which is this whipped buffalo cheese dip. If you're craving something with a kick and a little bit of spice, you'll definitely wanna try this one. All you need is three simple ingredients, including one cup of regular or whipped cottage cheese, half a cup of your favorite buffalo sauce, I'm using the Primal Kitchen brand, two tablespoons of avocado mayonnaise, and this is optional, but if you want it to be extra spicy, add in one tablespoon of hot sauce. And I'm just blending that up in my food processor until it's extra smooth. I like to serve this with some fresh produce to get in extra fiber. So I'm going to chop up some cucumber, bell pepper, and carrots. Of course, you can also serve it with chips or crackers. But this one's great for those of you watching your carb intake because half a cup of this dip only contains 5 grams of carbs and 207 calories. It's also great to serve at parties or gatherings. And you can fancy it up a little bit by garnishing it with some chopped green onion, a little sprinkle of extra hot sauce, but it's super creamy and filling and a great way to sneak in extra protein and fiber. 
One of the fastest and easiest ways to use whipped cottage cheese is just to spread it onto some toast and add your favorite healthy toppings. It makes for a quick and easy on the go snack or even breakfast, and you can make it sweet or savory. If you're more of a sweet person, one of my favorite ways to make it is by adding some fresh peach slices, top it with cinnamon and chopped pistachios, and then drizzle it with a little bit of raw honey. Y'all, the combination of the sweetness and then the creaminess from the whipped cottage cheese is just literal perfection. It is so delicious. Now, if I'm wanting something more savory and a little bit more filling, I like to add avocado and tomato slices and then drizzle it with some extra virgin olive oil. Okay, I went a little crazy with the olive oil. And you have to top it off with some everything bagel seasoning, but this avocado toast is so savory, creamy, and extra filling. Another savory snack option is this bruschetta cheese spread. Y'all, this one is packed with flavor and you can literally whip it up in just a few minutes. Starting with the base, into a food processor, add in one cup of either regular or already whipped cottage cheese, along with one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, some fresh rosemary and thyme. I'm adding two sprigs of each and some sea salt and pepper to taste. Blend that up until it's extra smooth and everything is fully incorporated. Set that aside and now let's whip up a super simple bruschetta topping, starting with one cup of cherry tomatoes that I've already cut into halves, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, three to four tablespoons of freshly chopped basil, and some sea salt and pepper to taste. Give it a little toss to combine all the ingredients. And when you're ready to serve it, just spread the cheese mixture onto a plate Add the bruschetta topping and then drizzle it with some balsamic glaze. I went ahead and toasted up some gluten-free bread to serve it with, but it's also great served with healthy crackers or if you want to keep it lower in calories and carbs, you can also serve it with cucumber slices. But I will warn you, you're going to need some self-control with this one because you'll probably be tempted to eat all four servings in one sitting because it's that good. And lastly, I bet you didn't realize that you can actually make a smoothie bowl or in this case, a protein bowl using whipped cottage cheese as the base, and it actually ends up being lower in carbs and higher in protein than a typical smoothie bowl. So into a blender, add in one cup of regular or already whipped cottage cheese, along with one cup of frozen blueberries, and a couple tablespoons of your favorite sweetener. Blend it until it's extra smooth, and try not to add any extra liquid to it unless it's absolutely necessary, because you want the consistency to be super thick. And this makes two servings, so I'm adding half of it to a bowl right now, and then I'm gonna store the other half in the fridge for later this week. And just like with a regular smoothie bowl, you can add all of your favorite healthy toppings, and it actually tastes just as good as a regular smoothie bowl, in my opinion. The base recipe without the toppings is only 152 calories with 13 grams of protein. And of course, you can add protein powder to the mix if you wanna boost that protein even more. But it's perfect as a high protein snack, or you can even have it as a healthy breakfast option. Well, all right, y'all, that is it for today's video. How to make basic whipped cottage cheese, plus six different ways that you can use it to make a variety of high protein snack recipes throughout the week. Don't forget, you can print off all of today's recipes, plus calculate your macros over on the blog post. I will have that linked for y'all in the description box below. And if you want me to share more high protein recipes like this, give this video a thumbs up to let me know. And if you give any of these recipes a try, comment below. Let me know how you liked them. I love to hear your feedback. And don't forget, if you give any of my recipes or my meal preps a try, you can tag me over on Instagram and I will reshare that on my stories. But anyway, that's it for today and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!